Welcome back to Writing Wednesdays, where I share content helping you become a better writer and copywriter online. In this video, it's going to be a bit different, more casual, laid back. I'm going to show you my top five tweets, viral tweets, from about a month and a half on Twitter. So I went from zero to 734 followers in that time frame. And a lot of it is thanks to these tweets that I'm going to show you here. And also, I've been pleasantly surprised at the organic reach and the amount of engagement that I'm getting on this platform, even being brand new to it. So if I go here to my analytics dashboard, you can see in the last 28 days alone, 421,000 impressions, 34,600 profile visits, and 483 followers added to my profile. And actually just started uh, going on my Twitter profile in February, you can see here, started off pretty strong, 81,200 impressions, 12,000 profile visits and 221 new followers. And yeah, I've been very impressed with this platform, the organic reach, the amount of smart, bright people here. And I wanna show you my top five, five viral tweets because it's not what I expected. And if, if I knew what I know now, my tweeting would have been a lot different even just a month and a half ago. So I'm gonna hop into this tool that I'm using called ILO.SO. It's an analytics tool. I'll link to it below this video. I think it's about 10 bucks a month is what I'm paying for it. But it helps me to keep track of all my metrics and engagement and analytics within uh, Twitter. So what I'm gonna show you here, you can see here, followers, engagement, and these are all daily numbers here. Impressions, number of tweets, and my streak of tweeting. So you can see 40 days here. And it's it shows you everything you need here over time, which is why I like it. All, all these graphs of growth on impressions and tweets and the things that get the most views. But what I wanna draw your attention to is this top tweet section here. So if I click view more, okay? And I'm gonna sort by impressions, looks like it's already done that. I wanna first show you the top two here and let me know if you are seeing any patterns here. So I'm gonna open these two. So this is my top tweet, and this is on March 28th. This is just a couple days ago that I that I tweeted this. And you can see 56,569 impressions and 6,138 profile clicks. That is incredible numbers for this one tweet here that only has one sentence. So uh, what am I doing here? Well, I basically took a picture of a troll who sent me a message. He said that my cover photo looks stupid. It looks unprofessional. And I use this, this caption here, you know how I know you're broke? And that's it. And this went pretty viral, right? In terms of impressions and profile clicks. I'm guessing people clicked on my profile because they wanted to see my cover photo. But yeah, 56,570 impressions in two days. This is the first one here, my most viewed tweet of all time. My second one is this one here. As a 30 year old entrepreneur who just got to start on Twitter, I must say the 18 to 25 creators on Twitter are impressive. Hard not to feel a tiny bit jealous. At that age, I was knocking back a dozen Red Bull vodkas every Saturday. So another thing, what do you notice here? There's authenticity and there is transparency here, right? So I didn't say like I was like the king of the world at age 22. When I was a young guy, I would get wasted every single week and multiple times a week. And I referenced that here, right? At that age, I was knocking back a dozen Red Bull vodkas every Saturday. I'm jealous of these younger guys that are crushing it on the platform. So I'm showing like a human side. I'm being you know, a little funny here, adding some humor, but I'm showing transparency, authenticity. I'm telling people about my life and giving them a, a look at my personality. And this one has the most likes out of any tweet that I've had. And this is the second most viral tweet that I have. 46,396 impressions, 1,731 profile clicks. So these are my top two. What do you notice here? These are not like how-to step-by-step guides that are really in-depth. There's, It's a mixture of like kind of trolling and humor and entertainment. So this really surprised me because if I go back to my dashboard here, there are a lot of posts that I've made on just how to do things, right? How to build a list of customers. And I go into a lot of value here on these tweets. And you can see the ones that are just entertainment and funny are getting like 10X the amount of views and impressions. Um, so I'm not saying don't do how-to posts. I'll walk through the other three top posts that I have, but entertainment and humor and just your own opinions and your own takes go well on Twitter. If you, you know, if you have good takes and you're funny and you have entertaining uh, tweets that you're putting out. But let me show you these other ones here. So it's good to mix it up. I'm gonna show you the, the third place tweet here. 
So this is more of a how-to post, but this is more of I was analyzing other people's accounts and I was making my own analysis, making my own judgment of what was going on here. So this one's called Seven Habits of Highly Successful Twitter Writers. And this just goes into my growth on Twitter and what I observed from reviewing the top engaged writers on this platform. So you can see I show my own experience here with social proof. I talk about, I link to all these people that I followed on Twitter to learn how to write better on this platform. And then I go into the lessons that I learned from these people, right? So this is not really a how-to post. It's more like this is what I observed from the top writers on this platform. So I was kind of borrowing content from these other writers and just putting it in an easy to read, easy to consume uh, thread here, article. Okay, so this is the third place one. What did this one do here? 25,136 impressions and 191 profile clicks, right? So a lot lower than the entertainment humor-based ones here. Now, again, I'm not saying don't do these types of value posts, but if you can mix it and make it entertainment and funny and also add your personal take on things and mix that in with how-to and value posts and analysis posts like this, you're gonna do well on this platform. So that is number three. Number four, this is something called an atomic essay. I was in this program where every day we wrote this 250 word essay that looks like this. And it's just, uh, there's a tool that we use. We type it this up in the tool. Uh, you have to join the program to get this tool. And we would post a picture of our essay as a post here. So this is number three, or this is number four. And this one got 20,526 impressions. 312 profile clicks. And I remember this one resulted in about a hundred, almost a hundred new followers for me when I was just getting started. So this was February 20th. This is really what got me that first few 150 or so followers on my account. And this one was more, I think this one did well because I was mysterious, right? So if you can read this, the contrarian copywriter who built a one man publishing empire. And you have heard me talk about who this guy is multiple times in this channel, but I don't reveal who it actually is in this essay here, right? So if you can read this, uh, I'll link to this below, so I'm not gonna read it out loud, but I talk about how this guy has such an amazing business where he's only working, you know, sometimes only 10 minutes a day, he's making over a million dollars a year. And I go into what his life looks like and his business looks like. And I talk about how, if you are creating your own business, you're in the driver's seat, right? It's your world, your rules, you can create the business that you want. And I never reveal who the person is in this essay. So you can see here, you got me hooked, can't wait to read. And people are wondering who this person is, right? Um, so I'm not gonna say who it is. You guys can probably guess by, I talk about him a lot on this channel. Uh, but you can see here, I think this did well because of the mysteriousness and there was a cliffhanger where I didn't really reveal who this person was. So this is number four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is the fifth one here. And this is a how-to post, right? So this is how to earn a full-time income online as a compound creator. And this kind of goes into my story and my experience. So I use this, I posted this on March 23rd, so it's been about a week. And I just go over how to earn a full-time income and the different stages of online business here. So I talk about what it is, then I go about my journey. I talk about how to go there or how to take these steps, go from skill to productize to product. And I talk about my experience and I mix that in here. Okay, so this is another thread or they call them tweet storms on Twitter. And this is like a mixture of a how-to and a story post. So lessons here from the top five viral tweets so far, what would I do if I were to start all over again? Well, I would think about more ways to add entertainment and humor and show more of my personality in my tweets. Because as you can see from these top two, that is what's doing best, right? People love to laugh, people love to be entertained. And uh, this one right here, this one really cracks me up because I, I posted this when I was having a drink with a friend and someone sent me this, um, you know, this, it's not nasty, but it's kind of a mean message. And I just posted it, right? And it went, it, this became my top viewed tweet. So the tweets that you least expect to go viral will sometimes go viral, right? So this is just one sentence, it's a picture of a troll sending me a, a mean message. And this is my most viewed tweet. And this had this got me over 100 new followers, I believe. So uh, that's number one. I would add more of my own story, my own entertainment and humor and personality in there to my tweets because I'm seeing that those do the best out of anything else. The second thing is I would mix in analysis 
of other businesses, curation of other businesses. So what I mean there is, well, you can see this post here. This isn't really a how-to post. I am just giving you my thoughts and analysis from reading the, the top writers on Twitter. So I said, okay, I wanna know what makes writers engage and what makes them go viral. So I studied these people here and I created a post out of this, this kind of study that I ran. And this did well, right? So I would do more of these little analysis, maybe of the best writers, the best email copywriters, the best uh, video creators or YouTubers, create more of those curation lists that take the best of a certain industry and give you the breakdown of my thoughts and analysis on and lessons from observing them. And then the other thing is mix in how-to posts every now and then, right? So a lot of people, they default to how-to posts. Every post is a how-to post. You don't have to make everything a how-to, especially on Twitter because it's a short form platform. And if you can just make maybe one how-to thread or tweet storm every week, that's gonna be solid, right? So I would do less of these how-to posts and maybe once or twice a week, I would add these in. So in the beginning, when I first started my Twitter account, I was doing maybe a how-to post every day. I would reduce that to maybe one or two every week and the rest have it be educate or not educational, entertainment and humor and my analysis and observations on different pieces of the, the industries that I'm in. So those are my top five viral tweets. Those are my lessons from those tweets. And I love Twitter. I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on this platform than pretty much anything else other than YouTube. YouTube and Twitter are gonna be my main platforms and you know, I'm gonna do less of Facebook, less of LinkedIn, and put more of my focus into here because the results I'm seeing here are pretty crazy, right? You don't see this kind of reach as a new user on a, a mature platform like Twitter where a lot of people are hanging out. So that is it for this. I hope you guys learned something. Let me know below if you are gonna start a Twitter account and any questions that you have about starting and growing on Twitter, let me know what you wanna see below. In next week's Writing Wednesday, I'm gonna go into back into freelance writing and I'm gonna talk about the, the most lucrative services that you can offer as a freelance writer, even if you're just starting out, even if you're just a beginner, you guys wanted to see different writing services that you can package up and offer. So we'll talk about that next week. I'll see you then, take care.